This is it. This is all that's left. Jesus Christ. Man. Is that surprising? Any sign? Presumably you would have come Negative. here at some point again. Damn, I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here. What? How? It's not like it moved. I'm sorry, that was... Close. We must be close. Did you both see, see it too? I kind of wish I hadn't. Same. What is it? Silas, the dog boy. Uh-huh. That must be it. Careful. Uh-huh. Okay, there he is. Don't know if a blood trail that you were following at this point. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. What? Just that you're seeing him up close now? What's wrong? Yeah, what are you what do you mean what's wrong? What's happening? What are you waiting for? Oh she's waiting. Shoot your stupid girl! I mean, he's just been trophy earned reactionist. Are you sure about this? Shoot. Now, Ray's gun did not say shoot. Now, I'm not going to shoot. 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 What are you doing?
So, I hope you've got hat insurance, Anton, because I'm about to blow your mind! Did you just ask if I had hat insurance? Yes. It's responsible to insure those things which mean the most to you. A hat? Yes. Okay, I know where your priorities lie. Go on. Anyway, there actually is a real reason that we're coming back to Hackett's Quarry. There have been some... developments. And I've sourced some information. I remain skeptical, but I'm all ears. Under my hat. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, God. Why? Why are you smiling? Stop it. I hate it. Why? I had braces. I have to make use of them sometimes. You do have very pretty teeth. Thank you. That's something that a lot of podcast listeners might not know about me. <clears throat> so, it just so happens I've got someone on the inside. So today's episode is going to have a bit of a show-and-tell vibe to it. Who do you know on the inside? The inside of where? What? You know someone on the inside? Don't we all have someone on the inside? You know, an inner critic that mm. says, Stop doing a podcast! No one's listening! You should listen to that voice, Grace. Okay, well, what I really meant is, let's call it an anonymous donation. You know, we're not the only ones who flagged this as a bizarre situation. Someone actually reached out to us. They sent us a package. Did you? You didn't open it. Anyone who... I don't trust anyone who listens to this show. Oh, I couldn't wait to open it. Surprise! Anonymous donation? Okay, you've always promised me since day one of this podcast that if you could see true evidence, you will consider all options, right? Did you not say that? I did say that, yes. I mean, I know you... Knowing for a fact that we would never see any evidence, I did say that. Okay, well, we've been sent information, and we need to decide whether it's bizarre or bona fide. <sighs> okay, fine. Let's do this. For anyone listening at home, we are about to open a package from a mysterious person who listens to this show. If you are the one who sent us whatever it is, congrats, you got us. God, sorry, the tape is just really... Really, there's just so much tape on the package. Sorry, can you help me with this? Do you have like a key I could like slice at it with? No, I don't want you to dull my key. Just use your fingers. But just give me your fucking key, Anton. No. Give me your fucking key. No. Get your own key. Not like you lock your door. Of course I lock my door. What are you what are you hiding? What am I hiding? Do you not lock your doors? No, I have nothing to hide. You think that ghosts are real, but you don't lock your doors? No, ghosts couldn't open my doors. They could walk through my walls, Anton. Okay, you need to be more concerned with murderers. Take a look. Apparently they found another body. Whoa! You can't just show me a picture of a dead body. You got to tell me before you're gonna do that. Okay, then let's take this over. Anton, can I show you a picture of a dead body? No! I can't work with that, Anton. Okay, fine, yes. you It's, it's a dead body. Okay, wh what is this? What am I looking at? It's one of the hikers that went missing. Do you remember that? Yes, that's the true part of the story. Yeah, Ed Benson was his name. He was drowned in the lake. Okay, drowned or was drowned? Now you're getting grammatical. I'm not getting grammatical. If you drown, you just went swimming and you drowned. If some, if he's been drowned, then someone drowned him. Well, then I think I implied precisely what I meant to imply. Now, of course, I can't verify this info, Of but... course you can't. What, do I have, like, a history of not verifying Yes, info? it's fake. Okay, but I feel very strongly that he was drowned. Okay, well, do the police know about this? Are the Hackett family suspects? Okay, okay, I like that you are getting into this. Here's the thing. The newspaper says this guy's still missing, right? He looks pretty fucking found in this picture. Okay, yeah, I mean, he's not missing, he's right there, but yeah. why? Why would they say he's still missing? Because it is a conspiracy, a cover-up. Don't you see? They're all in on it. I, I, who is all in on it? The Hackett family? The Hackett family, the North Kill Gazette. I told you I've been suspicious of them from the start. Okay, uh, okay, so there's the one hiker, he's dead. What about the other one? Ann Radcliffe, still missing. Who knows how many bodies are still down there, though. I don't know, this is pretty inconclusive. I, I'm sorry that the guy drowned, but this kind of seems like a big to-do over nothing. Or is it a big undo of something, which is what a cover-up is? Okay, you can't just twist my words like that. Okay, so I anticipated your skepticism, which is why I saved this little gem 
for next. Finally, you're going to present me with some ghost ectoplasm. Put out your ring finger. I've got a little gem to slide onto it. What do you got? Leaked photos from the hiker's camera. Photos that show them at Hackett's Quarry. So? Maybe they were there and then they dropped their camera. It happens all the time. Yeah, they dropped their camera whilst being murdered. And their bags were found there, too. Oh, no way. Do you have a fake photo of them, too? Oh, please. Okay, so you have a picture of bags. These could be anyone's bags. Well, they match up to the ones in their photos from their camera, and they have a monogram of their initials. I think, at least. Or it's water damage. I can't tell. Yeah, okay. That's not nothing. I'll give you that. So... We've got to talk a little more about the Hackett family. Right, so these guys are like the heritage landowners, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Their great-great-great-grandparents were trappers who claimed the land way back when. They just claimed it? Yes, they did. They put their flag on it just like the man on the moon. The Hackett family flag, right. Well, apparently when they claimed it, they found quartzite. Quartzite? Okay, I was hoping you would ask. Fun fact, every building in the whole of New York is made of quartzite. That's not fun or a fact. Most of them are, but I digest. Digress? It was a pun. They dug the quarry and hit great heights of success before Septimus Hackett, classic bad guy name, the seventh son of the trappers, the number seven, has great supernatural powers uh -huh. closed the mine down okay so then they only had the land to live off yes you say only but this land actually spans acres that's a lot of forest a lot of unexplored darkness Ooh, okay a great place to hide to have all these dark secrets for this strange reclusive family mm -hmm. and this is where we start to get a little more into paranormal territory okay here acres we go and acres of haunted woods if you say so All right. <laughs> Welcome to Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. Welcome back to Bizarre Yet Bonafide. Anton, today I'm actually going to pass you some light writing. Okay, you're going to make me read this? Mm-hmm. All right, um, this is... What you're seeing now is a copy of a letter that Kaylee Hackett wrote to her grandma, allegedly. <sighs> All right, uh, this seems like more of a you job, but I suppose right, I can read I, this. Right, but I feel like if some of the evidence comes from your mouth, it will have more clout. Right, okay, here we go. Gammy, how long are we gonna drag this shit out? Mm. I know family is the most important thing, but I wanna know what's outside the forest, outside this damn house and camp, and I sure as hell know that ain't about to happen because of who we are. Maybe we can explain what's going on. Fucking show people. Then they'll know we got no control over it. I know you just trying to protect us, but one day you won't be here no more. And right now it feels like we stuck in a dark hole. I can't sleep, Gammy. Or if I do, I dream about that fucking fire. We were just dumbass kids back then. I wish it never happened. Love, K, X, O, X, O. That took a turn. Yes. Dream about that fucking fire. Does that not read as the haunted scribblings of someone who saw something that they shouldn't have seen? Yeah, no, I'm fully creeped out. She was clearly going through some stuff. And this is legit? I mean, I don't know why someone would fake it. Then again, I can't verify any of this. So, you've got to suspend your disbelief slightly. Man, this poor girl. Yeah, there was something going on, something eating away at her. And that's what I want to explore. Okay, well, consider my disbelief suspended for now. So, I don't think that's gonna be a problem for this next one. Oh God, why? 
Holy shit. This is a cease and desist letter. And it's addressed to us. Dude, why didn't you tell me about this? Well, it was never actually sent. That's mad shit, fam. What? Signed by Travis Hackett. We're not doing anything illegal. Aren't we? Think about it. I guess it wasn't technically sent to us. Cease and desist letters come from people hiding stuff. Hmm. Okay. And next we have this empty vial thing. Now, to me, empty implies that it was once full. Samesies. Bloodstains, maybe? Filled with blood? Looks that way. Freaky. Some kind of ritual thing? Do I detect a hint of belief? Love a good ritual. Kind of fucked up that these guys know who we are, though. Okay, but putting the Hackett family aside for a moment, there's more to this. Are you ready for some real spooky shit? I'm ready for real spooky shit. I don't know if you can provide it, but please try. Don't get too freaked out. I'll try my hardest. Okay. Do you want to hold my hand? No. Okay. Do you need someone to comfortingly pat your back? Please just say what you're going to say. Do you want me to turn all the lights on so you don't I don't want you scared? to do anything. I want you to say what you have. Okay. So what's this? What are we looking at now? A photo by one of the counselors. Emma Mountebank. Downloaded from her phone. Oh my God. Is this real? Well... <laughs> That is what we're here to discuss. Okay, this looks shocked. I mean, doesn't it? Okay, but w if you downloaded photos from my phone, yes, they would all be shocked as well. There would be a filter on it to make my eyes look big and cheeks look pink. But I don't even think that has even any of those filters. Look at the eyes and tell me that's not real danger. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, weird, bizarre, yet bona fide. What the hell happened? More than we are being told. Yeah? There's something else, too. Okay. <sighs> Look at what happens when I put it through a negative filter. Whoa! Okay, what is that? It's her! The hag of Hackett's quarry! See? Full circle! God! Uh, no, 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 no. That could be anything. Like what? Please, try to explain I, I don't know, that. what's that thing? There's this thing, it makes your mind, you see faces and stuff. There's people, there, there's, Jesus shows up on toast every once in a while. This could be whatever. Well, I don't need to hear too much more about your breakfast, but I can't believe that you're still questioning this. You're doubting your own cynicism now, though, I can tell. I can smell the doubt that you usually apply to other things on yourself. Picks or didn't happen, right? Well, picks, so did happen. No, picks... You can fabricate experiences you can't. I need to, I, I would need to see the Hag of Hackett's quarry myself. Well, if you want to go to North Kill with me, no, I actually have a really I don't. good okay. relationship. Okay, I believe you. Okay, but you know what? I have something that couldn't be fabricated. Claw marks in a wall. I, I could make this right now. Really? Just fi find me a wall, I'll take a fork and just go to town. What an artisan. Thanks. Well, to me, this isn't actually overtly supernatural because it could have just been, you know, an animal or someone's angry parrot. But it'd be unfair not to discuss. Why? Because the audience has come to expect a certain length of the podcast, so we actually have to sometimes do a little bit of filler. Yeah, that's true. We don't have much to talk about. Well, whoever did reach out, thought it was worth sharing. There's a chance this is all just a prank, you know? It was just a prank, Anton! Who even are you? It's probably just some teenager who's making fun of you. It's probably that dude who came on and gave us a one-star review. I would love to tell you that that's implausible, but a teenager making fun of me is probably the most familiar experience of my life. Moving on! How about this? Tell me this isn't freaky as shit. Oh! Is that skin? Skin? Fur? Whatever you want to call it, really. Okay, it looks human. Is that a tattoo? I don't think so. Or maybe a really bad one. Wait. Is it? Apparently, this belongs to whatever creature supposedly caused all this. Okay, do we have the actual thing? Did they capture it? Can I... Can I see it in the uh, in its weird flesh, so to speak? You want to touch the flesh. I want to touch the flesh. Well, 
Unfortunately, the person who sent this to me was smart enough to know that it would be dangerous to steal the actual evidence, not to mention they might suspect that you, Anton, would hide it away so as to sabotage this legitimate investigation. Right, I am known for destroying evidence. Convenient that we can't see the real deal, huh? Come on, man, you're desperate not to believe. If there's reasonable doubt, you have to assume it's not real, Occam's Razor. But look at everything we've seen. Put it all together, objectively. So, what we've got here, this could incriminate the Hackett family, or what's left of them, at least. Wait, you believe it? I, I don't know. At the very least, we should tell someone. The police should know, right? Do you believe it? All of it? No, I'm not the supernatural stuff. I'm talking about killing those hikers. We've got a body evidence they were there this is real stuff grace it's stacking up against the hackets we might yeah. we might actually we got, know something we got a whole flapjack stack of evidence yes so what do we do shut off the podcast and report this to somebody what no <laughs> anton we finally have something going here it's getting juicy yes we have something real we had actual people have actually died this is actually crazy grace you did it just Take the win. Let's turn this off and actually report it. No, say actually more ass. Are we done now with the podcast? Okay, so, um, so here's what I'm thinking. Uh, now, before I sat down to record today, this is before chapter 10, um, let's see, I almost want to pause this so it stops making noise. Um, can I do Can I pause? Uh, the bird? Oh, okay, bird. Oh, we have some last things here. From the freak show fire, broken cage. The decrepit cage has been engulfed by the woods over time. It looks like an animal has nested here. It's honest wolf boy. He never left the woods, spending his days and nights living feral. Nesting in his old cage and evading the wrath of the Hackets. Even though that makes no sense, they knew this stuff was here. How would they not have found him? It's dumb they wouldn't have found him if he'd just been here. Uh, newspaper headline Kaylee and Caleb started the fire, meant as a distraction to free Silas Wolf Boy, whom they pitied. That's how it all that's how all this started. For Dazzy Memorabilia. The night of the fire is when Chris was bitten. This is where it all began for him. That guy thought they'd gathered all the remains of the burned sideshow, harem scarum, and disposed of it at the scrapyard. Wait, really? So they did go there and took stuff. But they, they, they didn't know the stuff that was left there was left there. The ghost stories are true. The ghost of Eliza the Hag of Hackett's Quarry has wandered these woods for six years, looking for her lost baby boy. They really should have got that fixed, referring to the, the chimney or whatever it is. And last thing here, the white whale. Ryan shot Chris with silver, carrying his line of infection. Ryan survived the ordeal at the Hackett house. They were together to find Silas. They run Silas down after he attacked the car. Silas escaped once again. Another thing I'm going to rant mildly about, but uh, first. For Kaylin and Dylan. Kaylin killed Caleb with the silver shot. Okay, so before I started recording this chapter, chapter 10, 
I was going to come on and say that this is a pretty good game. I actually enjoyed it. Not as good as uh, Until Dawn, but on its own, pretty good. I like the characters, the counselors anyway, um, the personalities, especially I was interested in Emma and Jacob. Uh, I was kind of put off by them reusing, mostly it seems, the Wendigo model for the werewolf. Um, but that was overall good. And now this chapter 10 happened, this last chapter. And um, like so many of these games, the Dark Pictures Anthology, this isn't part of it, but like those, the, everything's good until the ending, and then I, the ending just makes it disappointing. So number one, everyone dying because they didn't shoot Silas. That seems kind of dumb, that no one would have reacted with Silas coming at them, getting up and coming at them. I chose not to shoot him while he was laying down, which that itself was strange because I had two prompts, which I don't think I ever had before in this game at all, two prompts. Why would this have two prompts? And the reason I didn't shoot was because, as I said before, Silas's mother has been talking to us, has been helping us this whole time, and I thought that implied that she was nice and she was going to help us because we have been, we chose not to kill her son. But then her son kills us, she doesn't do anything. And I thought, okay, maybe she couldn't and I misinterpreted it. But then at the end, she's so hostile, even though I chose not to shoot her son and I have been killing the Hackett's, like completely not in line with how she should be reacting, given the personality we've been shown and the information we've been getting of it. Also, how would we not react to Silas coming at us and shoot him as he's coming at us? Because he killed Sam Raimi first, but he didn't have the gun. Kaylee did, or not Kaylee, Laura did. She should have been able to react and shoot Silas. It's, it's so ridiculous. That's just so ridiculous. Uh, and then there's Caitlin with uh, Dylan getting killed. Now, I would be fine with, because I that was my mistake not to shoot fast enough. But Dylan getting killed while he's staying there is just dumb. He should have turned and ran, but then, you know, got killed as we ran, I think. I would have been fine with that. Then Caitlin's idea of going out a window and then back in made no sense. I guess I was buying time, maybe, but I don't see how it did. Jacob just being out in the woods completely like anticlimactic, I guess, or just unsatisfying. Like I said before, why is he just sitting in the woods? He knows the monsters are out here. Why would he not go to a building? We don't see him meet up with anybody. Um, and then there's Max's choice, quote unquote, of staying on the island. Like, maybe if I'd gone off the island, that would do something. But now, given everything that's been so unsatisfying, I, I'm wondering if maybe nothing would have happened. And there doesn't seem to actually be a lot of results from us making choices in relationships. Because Sam Raimi, or the, well, the Raimi, whatever Raimi it is, he gave Laura his gun and said, okay, shoot me, I know you want to. Even though all the choices we made before... We're being nice to him. Why would that interaction have happened? The choices didn't seem to matter there. And I expected a bit more with Emma and Jacob, but the choices we made there didn't seem to do anything with their relationship, or at least I didn't expect them necessarily to get back together. Not with Emma acting the way she did. But I expected something, some resolution, but we didn't get that. Uh just completely unsatisfying the ending I'm, I'm i wish it i wish it just wasn't like this but almost every single thing happened in this chapter was unsatisfying the only good thing that happened was that podcast that was kind of neat i like that i like that as an ender but uh everything else
Uh, just, yeah. So I don't even know. <sighs> I hope this isn't going to be a thing for every supermassive game. Like until dawn, we didn't get that. I was satisfied with until dawn. But every single game since then has been like has felt like that to me, just about. Well, okay. Um, I'll go back to the credits just in case there's an after credits thing. Um, if there's nothing, I'll just cut it here. But if there's something else, I'll let it go, and we'll see that. So if there's nothing at the end, um, I guess. Uh, sorry that the I was so unhappy at this ending. I was actually really happy up to just before starting chapter ten. It really was really fun. And I was kind of excited to look at the other choices. But uh, yeah, another super massive. I guess that's what it's called now, a super massive. A game being great, feeling good, but then the ending not being great. Well, let's see if we have anything, but if not, um, thanks for watching.